I love this little girl with all my heart. This is my daughter, Alexis Marie, and she's five years old. Now, about a year and a half ago, I was watching television, a cartoon with my daughter, and I thought, you know, this is a great time to educate my daughter. She's getting older, and also I can impress her, too, at the same time with my knowledge. And when you can impress a three-year-old, you got to take that advantage when you can. So this animal right here is walking around the screen. We're watching a program called Go Diego Go. And I'm like, I know what that animal is. That's a leopard. So I'm excited, but I'm thinking a three-year-old's not gonna understand leopard. So I will keep it simple and tell her this is a tiger. So I said, Alexis? She said, yes, daddy. I said, that animal right there walking on the screen is a tiger. She looked at me and said, no, Daddy, that's not a tiger, that's a jaguar. <laughs> and she was right. Talk about, are you smarter than a three-year-old? In that case, I wasn't. My fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests, I've got a confession as a parent to make. Growing up, I hated kids. They were noisy, smelly, rotten little brats. And whenever I played with a child, they would follow me around the rest of the day wanting to play with me all these childhood games. And I'm like, play with someone your own age. I'm a grown up for goodness sake. Parents would always come around and confess their love for their children, but I did not believe, I, I couldn't believe their pronouncements where kids were always loud and obnoxious. The parents were always yelling at their kids and everybody looked just worn out by the end of the day. Now don't get me wrong, I wanted a kid, a boy, who would play Major League Baseball and professional football. But a girl, I never wanted that. I mean, you're supposed to have a boy to carry on the family name, you know, a chip off the old block. So I had it all planned out. A wrench was thrown into my plans when I met my wife-to-be. She did not want kids. And I was in love, so it's like, no big deal. I guess I'll put off that plan. Well, parents of other kids came along and brought their babies to our house. And showed her babies looking cute. They showed us babies looking like angels and just cooing and all that. And started working on my wife, changing her mind. It was a day after our fifth anniversary, and I was almost asleep in bed, about 10 at night. My wife was in the bathroom and called, honey, come in the bathroom a minute, I said. You know, usually when she says that, there's like one of our cats is looking cute in the corner, and I'm thinking, oh, well. I stumbled and mumbling into the bathroom, and there was no cat. There was a toothbrush on the counter. But wait, that wasn't a toothbrush. It was a pregnancy kit. And the lines were blue. Oh my goodness, how did this happen? After my wife explained to me how this had happened, I was excited. I was like, all right, I'm going to get my boy after all. You know, I can train him to play Major League Baseball. I'm still young enough where I can impart my skills on him. About two weeks later, we went to the doctor. He said, it's a girl. I said, are you sure? <laughs> he said, yes, I'm usually right. And he was right. It was, it was a girl. My daughter, Alexis, was born on March 30, 2005. And it's changed my life so much for the better. I love her with all my heart, even if she never plays Major League Baseball. Now, herein lies the problem, is that once your child, once children are co-parent enough, it doesn't even seem like they're co-parent enough to form thoughts. They realize how much you love them, and they'll use your love to getting spoils, presents, and gifts. And they become very devious and, and know how to get out of punishments by looking cute. I'll just tell you a few things my daughter does that, that just drives me crazy. I mean, she's a, she's a she's bratty just like the, all the other kids, but she's my brat, so I let it, I let it slide. For instance, she's very competitive, so competitive it's alarming. I don't think I've ever beaten him at, at shoots and ladders board game or any races that we do. She always wins, and the reason is she cheats like the devil. <laughs> Another thing she does. Well, the questions that just drive me crazy. She'll ask questions like, 
well, Daddy, why is that car blue? Or, Daddy, why is it December? And I'll say, good God, I don't know that. You're five years old, ask a question that I can answer, please. One more thing she does, she likes us to read to her, which is fine, I don't mind reading, but she wants me to read the same book every night, which is this Halloween book, which is falling apart here. And I, I'll read it again and again and again, showing her the costumes, and she's got her next 10 years worth of costumes picked out. And just last night, I actually talked to her, and she said, where's my magazine? I said, it's at work. I'll bring it back tomorrow. And, she said, and I said, don't worry, we're going to get a new one this Halloween, and Mommy said she's going to laminate it. And, and Mommy's serious, we are going to laminate the next one. So we can throw this one out, and she said, no, we're keeping that forever. So I guess we're stuck with this ragged thing forever. So there's some, some bad, some things that get on my nerves. Here's, there are good things about the children, of course, the Halloween candy, the Christmas candy, the Easter candy. How many of you eat your kids' candy? Show of hands here, anybody? <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't feel guilty about it because you have to make sure there's no poison in there. So it's just something you got to do. <laughs> Also, my wife's not very interested in my 5K racing, but my daughter's always at the door asking where my medal is. If I'm lucky enough to get one when I come home, she puts it on her neck and parades around the house, which makes us both feel good. So I've given you some good things and some bad things about kids. And maybe some of you who don't have kids are still skeptical of my pronouncement. You still think my kids are brat. Well, one more story I've got for you to show you that I do love my child, and there are reasons to love children. A couple months ago, my daughter had this same magazine. She's reading it in the living room. So I walked past quietly, went up on the couch to close the blinds, and she said, Daddy, be careful. I said, why? She said, because you might fall and get hurt. I said, why? She said, because I love you, Daddy. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster.